What's up guys, Sully here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Fender Fuse to GarageBand. So, what you want to do is open up GarageBand and get that loaded, because sometimes it takes some time. And also get Fender Fuse loading up. And if you don't already have Fender Fuse and it's taking a long time... <laughs> Okay, so you pull up Ender Fuse and. <laughs> Dang it! So if Ender Fuse doesn't load up um, the first few tries, just keep doing it. It takes a long time to do. But after you have it loaded up and stuff, works out pretty well. And so after you have it loaded up and stuff, it comes up with this screen. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm recording! What you want to do here is get a USB cord just like this one. Whoa. You want to plug your USB side of the cable into your computer. In my case it's a Mac. And you want to plug in the other end into the USB slot. Why am I having so much trouble with this? Okay. I got that in. Whew. Good. Alright. Um, quick tip. Make sure your amp is off when you plug in. Plug in the USB and the micro USB. Um, cord for both your computer and your amp because if not you're going to get a lot of um, static and stuff. Alright. I got that plugged in. You have it off. You have Fender Fuse. And if you didn't already launch a garage, man, make sure you have that up right now. Or at least loading. Alright. So. so ah. Okay. Well, besides this crappy tripod that I'm dealing with, you want to turn on your amp. It'll start up and stuff. And so what will happen is, whoa, you'll have it up. And when you turn it on, it will say this. It will say syncing your amplifier. And then it'll show whatever setting is on your amplifier. So yeah, my psychedelic rock one. Yay. So you have Fender Fuse up. Now what you want to do is pull up GarageBand, open an empty project. After the project wants to up, core audio, and it's like sync. Uh, you'll see. It's syncing the amplifier to GarageBand so you can play. And so what you want to do is I'm gonna zoom in here. My okay, so what you want to do here is click on input 2. That allows like outward inputs. It'll allow your amplifier to be the microphone of your computer, okay? So I always have it so I can hear it. Um, make sure your audio recording is on. Um, the one with the guitar leaning against the amplifier and you can click create and there you in um, you're in now what you can do here is pick up your guitar I don't know if you can hear that here I have it set up on my rocks on my psychedelic rock setting so I don't know if it's gonna come through loud enough for this to hear but I'll just put this up to it. Got a little external mic. It's always nice to have when you have a something like something like what I have. Alright, so I'm gonna just put that there so you guys can listen, hear this. And that's how you set up Fender Fuse to GarageBand. Hey, I know you can see me. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs>
Peace out.